Uh, I just have to say, as I considered and thought about what to do for this and how to get quality speakers and quality information in front of our students, I turned one place, and that was to my connections on LinkedIn. So even though tomorrow's presentation is on LinkedIn, I want to let you know how valuable that resource is and to let you know that that's how I came across these guys as a first contact. Looked on my LinkedIn profile, found people that were doing some things that I thought were really valuable. A couple, I guess a couple months ago, Gail, uh, Gail actually had uh, introduced herself, actually invited and, and said that she has a, a group together and are looking to do some of these presentations on campuses. So this is really great. I just really want to welcome you all here. Uh, the, group, the group's name is College to Career, and the presentation is going to cover a variety of different things that I think everybody really needs to hear. So as you're eating, hopefully you can take some notes on some key things and take, have some takeaways from this presentation. We have joining us today, we have Gail uh, Spencer, and we have Steve Turler, and then we have Steve Schumacher. Schumacher. And so I'm going to hand it over and just say thank you very much for being here. Welcome. Hope it's a great presentation. I'll hand it over to Steve. Okay. Uh, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Um, good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are y'all? Free food draws the crowds, right? Yeah? I mentioned that the ladies up oh there's more now. That's a dangerous place to sit in case we need volunteers. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I was asked to share with all of you is um, uh, let me start over. One of the things I've been asked to share with all of you. Uh, they, Gail and Steve asked me to come up and actually give a little bit of an introduction 
because this was my idea to put this group together. And you see up in the corner, we, we call ourselves a campus to career, and right below that, the words advice from business professionals. Now what that means is we are focusing on experiences that we have had when we've sat in the hiring manager's chair with people like you. We're a group of volunteers, we're not getting paid for this. Hopefully Eric has a little extra food left in order that might be our payoff. Um, but I'll tell you why I came up with this idea and we formulated this group is because one of the clients that I work with, I have my own consulting business actually, one of the clients that I have is a fairly major rental car company, North American International, they're kind of yellow. Do you have any idea who that might be? Yeah, it hurts. I just kind of check and see how well their logo is kind of getting out in the public. And one of the things that I've been doing with them for the last three years is I teach hiring managers how to interview people like this. And one of the things that I have them do in the very beginning of each workshop that I facilitate is I collect stories from them of interesting, weird, funny, scary, dangerous situations that they've had happen to them when they've been interviewing And I really, there was a point where I go, oh my gosh, I was just getting fed up to hear with stories of candidates coming in the door and say, with a resume in their hand, and it says, Miss Kissable 2008 at Hotmail.com. <laughs> Or a young man comes in, aces the interview, he's got long hair, it's a customer facing position he's interviewing for, the hiring manager says, you're great, you've got great potential, I'd love to have you on my team, unfortunately you're going to have to cut your hair. The kid says, I can't. And he was so serious about it that my friend, the hiring manager, thought, well, he's got some medical condition or something. He says, well, why can't you cut your hair? He says, well, do you know Thor, the comic book character? <laughs> he says, I am the incarnation of Thor. <laughs> and Thor cannot cut his hair. <laughs> or another candidate who actually approached one of a hiring manager in a big mass hiring situation. And he told him, he asked him, he said, would you mind taking the drug test for me? Now that's a candidate asking the hiring manager if you would take the drug test. <laughs> and after I hear story after story after story of candidates bringing their mother, or another one bringing their three kids and saying, it's okay if they play in the corner while I do this interview. Or another one up in Los Angeles, the lady actually brought her <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That was my that was my remark, absolutely. And so after I heard all these stories for so long, I thought, oh my God, isn't there a way we can make a difference? Maybe as business professionals. So I gathered people like Gail and Steve and Glenn is joining us as well. I encourage all of you if after we're finished or Glenn's sitting out there, if you have questions, approach any of us individuals. We'll be glad to help you. 